All right, so we're going to convert January 16th, 2016 at 9 hours, 54 minutes, and 31 seconds into a Julian day. So the Julian day is 16, because we're in January. That's pretty easy. Um, and in order to convert the time, we need to know how many seconds there are in each of these parts, and then we're going to divide by the total number of seconds in a day. So what we know is that there are 60 seconds in one minute, there are 60 minutes in an hour, and there are 24 hours in a day. Okay. Um, and that means if you multiply 60 by 60 by 24, then you can find out that there are 86,400 seconds in one day. I feel like I'm singing that song from Rent. Anyway, okay, so here's what we do. We start with nine hours, and we say, all right, nine hours is nine times 3,600, which is the number of seconds in one hour, is going to give us 32,400 seconds. Then we need to convert the minutes, 54 minutes. Multiply that by 60, because there are 60 seconds in a minute. And we get 3,240 seconds. And then the 31 seconds, we don't have to convert because that's already in seconds. All right, and we're going to add up these numbers. And we get this number. 35,671 seconds. We're going to divide that by 86,400 because that's the total number of seconds in a day. All right, so divide by 86,400. And we get 0 0.4129. Um, let's do a little reality check, because I like to do that when I do math. Um, is it possible that at about nearly 10 in the morning, we've gone through about 40% of a 24-hour day? Yeah, that makes sense to me, because noon would be 50%, right? And we're not quite at noon yet, so this looks good. Okay, so the, so the answer here finally is that the actual day precisely is 16.4129. That's how you'd express the Julian day with decimals of this date here.